I'm going to try to show you this real quick. I have seen a few people this week asking how to use the Samantha font um, and how to make it look really pretty. Um, so I, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that are really great. Um, but I just wanted to make a short, quick video on how to get you started using it. Um, and that way maybe it'll get your confidence up a little bit to actually, you know, want to use it. Um, instead of like me on, um, learning Inkscape, I'm so intimidated by it. I can't even focus on it. So hopefully this video will help. Um, so what I did is once you download, purchase and download Samantha font, it will come into your design space. Um, you have to have, I say you have to have, but you need a character map or Bible map. Um, on your computer, you do already have a built-in character map. Um, just go to your start menu, search character map. Um, I've never used it. I use Babel Map because there's a few reasons. Um, character Map, I've already got it open here. Character Map is really small. It's tiny. Um, you choose your Samantha upright font. Oh, it's a little blurry. Choose your Samantha upright font here. And then see how tiny the previews are. Um... And that's zoomed in. So they're super, super tiny. So what I did is I went and Babel Map is free. And I went and downloaded that. And I love it. The previews are awesome. Uh, for people like me that it's hard to see. Uh, see how big the previews are. So that's why I absolutely love Babel Map. Uh, so what you do is once you download your Samantha font and you get it on Design Space... Um, you have to add a text. Let's see. I'm going to do my sign. So, it's going to be the always kiss me goodnight sign. So, and it comes up really tiny. I always just thought it was my computer, but apparently it does it for a lot of people or everybody. Um, so once you, and mine's already in Samantha font, but once you type in your add text, type it in, put it in Samantha upright, you go to your character map or Bible map. We're going to use Bible map. And you have to, let's see, right here on select Unicode block, you have to put it in private use area. Okay. And then single font and select your Samantha font. If you did the pro, whichever one you want, you select that one. Okay. And then, um, say I want a K. Let's see. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to search through the Ks. And there's, I mean, thousands of, you know, d different swirls and letters and words. So, let's see. I like... See the previews, you can just right click and go through. I like this K or this one, I'm not sure which, but I will just go with this one because I like it. Once you click on it, it's going to bring it down here. It'll bring it right here. And you copy that. Okay. I'll zoom back out. You go to Design Space to your Word, double click where you can edit it. And it took me forever, and I'm not joking, and I'm embarrassed by this, to realize that you could actually double-click on the word to bring up the text box, text box, which, I mean, it's like that on everything, but I, when I first started, I thought you just had to exit off and start all over again, but that's a little side note. Um, you can highlight, right-click, and paste, or you can just click backspace either way you're going to be taking out the K so I highlight right click and paste and it puts a square and it automatically changes the K so that's pretty simple um, if I wanted to put a different lowercase s on there with a swirl or something um, just come down here go back to Babel map come down search through your S's um, 
like say I wanted this one just make sure you take out that previous letter or it will copy it again um, let's see let's try this one copy come back double click I highlight right click and paste and see how it changes my S so then what I do is because I can't hardly see have to make it bigger um, I isolate my letters actually hang on I always work with it in black because it's just so much easier to see that way then edit isolate my letters and then I just piece them together okay and then I weld them okay so that's pretty simple um, it's not it's not as hard as as I thought it was gonna be definitely I uh, wait I thought it was gonna be way harder than what it really is so I really hope this video helps somebody to be able to use it um, and hopefully it can be downloaded to the site so you don't have to search YouTube or something and watch a 45 minute video on how to do it hopefully seven, seven to eight minutes is gonna be quicker than that but they're probably better than me but um, if there's any questions just uh, feel free to message me or um, anything like that and hopefully I can help I'm in by no means an expert but I um, I got that far and this is also the previous one that I did without the swirly s so I think I actually like this bottom one better so I'll just keep it however um, I hope you guys find this useful um, like I said, if there's any questions, just message me. Um, hope you all have a great day. Bye.